I'll show you how to export an HTML5 app that allows the user to specify um, a function. So let's say I want an app that displays um, a function and its first and second derivatives. What I'm going to do in geometry expressions is just um, enter an f of x as I want to see. Now geometry expressions will put in a generic f of x. Um, if I now say f dashed of x, I'll see its derivative. And if I say f double dashed, that's hitting the dash twice, I'll get its second derivative. Let's change the colours on the uh, on these lines. So let's make the derivative blue, and let's make the second derivative uh, green. Now, I'd actually like to have something a little bit simpler than than um, the f of x that the system is giving here. The variables have a functions tab, um, which gives me the definition of f, and the, the definition of this somewhat generic looking f is actually rather complicated, so I really don't want that. Uh, what I'd like to do is have, uh, let's say, cos of 2 times x. <coughs> so here's my function, uh, first and second derivatives, so let's uh, get our axes up there. Uh, okay, so if I export this as an HTML5 JavaScript app, um, I, I can put in web page title, etc. I actually want it not to auto scale, so I make that false. I'd like to select the region of the graph that I'm going to use. Um, web page title. First and second derivatives. I could put some text before and after, after, but I won't bother just now. F, show and export true, label, f of x, that seems reasonable. Uh, UI, I get the option of a text box and a multi-line text box. For this one I'm going to use a text box, it's a single line. Um, okay, so I get to draw the rectangle that I would like to see. Now let's just see this rectangle here. Now if I go and look at my app, uh, here we have it, first and second derivatives, and I've got a definition of f of x, math dot cos of x times 2. Um, the definition, the language used for the definition is JavaScript, and that likes to put math dot cos, but you can actually put uh, put it without the math dot, you can just put sine of x times 2, for example, and we'd see that. Um, if I want to multiply that by x squared, notice I can't do this in JavaScript. I'll get something very odd. What I need to write is pow x comma 2. And that'll give me 